do I have a cool video for you guys today. Uh, Lightroom, again, came out with another update and there are quite a few different tools here, but one that I'm most excited about and what this video is gonna go over is the point color aspect of this update. And I'm sure you've seen tons of videos about it, but there's a lot of uh, in and outs to this. There's a lot of hidden features that you might not know. So without further ado, let's get into it. Will Simpson here and welcome back to the channel. Always good to see you. Today, we are going over the point color feature, which is point-tastic. It allows you to really fine tune and edit your colors. And yes, you're probably familiar with the HSL slider and you might be thinking, well, the HSL slider does this. Yes, it does, but it does it in a broader, less specific way. This feature, this point color allows you to be very, very specific to adjust I mean, really narrow down to exactly the color that you want. So let's let's skip all this stuff that I already did, which we didn't really skip. Let's get into Lightroom. Here's a photo that I took when I was up in the Virginia mountains, the Blue Ridge mountains, and it was sunrise. So I it was very dark and I wanted to expose for the sky, obviously. But I was shooting with a Canon R5, so I know that I can recover a lot of the shadows. So if you look up here, the settings, ISO 400, 24 millimeter, F 2.8, and 1 200th of a second. I was hand holding this, so that's why the higher ISO for the higher shutter. So first I'm gonna do is just adjust the crop because I hate it when photos are not straight. It drives me insane. Uh, and then we're just gonna slap on a quick preset that I have, which is available on my website. <laughs> but we're gonna go to the golden touch and give it a nice little well, it looks amazing now, let's be real. Uh, it is a little pink, it does need some adjustments, but it gives us a really nice place to start. Now, this video isn't about editing. However, let's go ahead and tweak the white balance a little. Let's uh, let's just see if we can do a custom. We're gonna just do daylight, see what happens. Good, that works a little bit, and then we're gonna warm it up, and yeah, that works. Okay, I'm okay with that, for now, for this video at least. So let's go down to the color mixer, which you'll notice there is no HSL slash color. It has now become color mixer. So here you'll have the mixer, which is the HSL, hue, saturation, and luminance. It's all the same. The one thing I do like is if you push and hold alter option, depending on Mac or PC, you now have the ability to reset the entire HSL panel or individually reset like saturation, or you can go into hue and individually reset hue. However, you are able to now reset the entire HSL by pushing and holding alter option and pressing reset mixer. Now the point color, same thing. You can reset the entire point color. But let's look at the, let's look, let's go into point color and look at what it does. So the first thing you'll notice is you have this brand new spanking panel that looks fantastic. It's all grayed out and useless at this moment in time. So how do you use it? Well, the first thing you're gonna do is click this little eyedropper tool and you're gonna select the color that you wanna change. Now for this image here, we're gonna change the greens of the leaves and make it more fall. So let's select right here, this little lime green color here. Now you'll notice now we can use the entire panel, the entire adjustments. So let's break down each one of these things. So this panel here is your color that you're using, right? So you can adjust this by moving it left and right up and down. If you go left and right, you're doing the hue. If you're doing up and down, you're doing the saturation. Over here, this bar is your luminance, your brightness or darkness, so you can adjust that. Now, you can also adjust this by going down to the hue here. You notice the hue changes, and the saturation, and the luminance, right? And you'll also notice this bar right here. Let's change this a lot. This down, this bottom bar here, Okay, so this left side is the original color. This right side is the new color. So it shows you where you started and where you are. So you can kind of keep track of what you're doing. Now, a couple of features that you can do, let's reset that. If you push and hold shift while you click this little, um, the circle here, you can adjust the saturation of that color, or you could come down here and just adjust the saturation bar. If you push and hold command, uh, option or command, I believe, I think option on a PC, command on a, on a Mac, and slide it, it'll adjust the hue, which you can then also just go ahead and adjust this. It depends on 
what's faster, the click or the hotkeys for, for your fingers. Good, so that is how you adjust those. If you wanna adjust the luminance, you can come over here and adjust the luminance, again, or you can adjust the slider. All right, now, you might be thinking, well, that's nothing crazy. That's not anything real different than the HSL. And you're right, at this point, we're pretty much the same. However, scroll down and we can narrow down the range of the color. So if you don't see all of these bars here, there's a little arrow here. So you'll see range and then you'll see a little arrow. Click that arrow and you'll get now some sliders to really fine tune that color. How do you know what color you're using? Let's click visual range. And now we see what colors we're adjusting. So in this case, we're adjusting the leaves, right? And everything gray is not being adjusted. So how do we fine tune this? Let's say we just wanna get the top of the leaves. We want the bright leaves. All right, so they're bright leaves. We want the bright leaves. We don't want the dark leaves. What do we need to adjust? That's right, the luminance. So we're gonna come here to the luminance slider. And I don't know if you're familiar with the color ranges, uh, color range masks, or the luminance range mask, but the slider bar here is exactly the same. I have a couple of videos on how to use those and I'll link them in the description. That way you can watch this after. But this here is your um, hard cut. Like, okay, so this is where this full effect stops is in this box. This little arrow slider is the fall off or the feather. You could do a hard cut. You just drag this feather to the line and boom, there you go. Or you could have it fall off so the transition's a little bit smoother and I found that that works a lot better. So what we're gonna do here is, let's undo that real quick so we can get back to where we were. So we want the bright leaves, right? We don't want any of the darkness. So we're gonna click on the luminous range here. We're gonna slide this this way and you notice we get less and less and then we're going to slide this and now we have just the bright leaves. So let's go ahead and adjust that. Let's make them uh, let's make them dark. Let's make them orange. Good. So now we've made them orange. Let's turn off the visualize and boom, look at that. Okay. So here we go. Ready? Before, after, before, after. Now we have a tinge of fall on top of the leaves, but what if we want to kind of blend the other leaves? Well, let's do that. So how do we adjust the next color? Well, let's do this. Let's click, click, clack, click another color, right? And look, so now we have a box here for this color and a new box for this color. Let's go ahead and go to visualize. And look, now we don't have our top colors because it's different. Ooh, interesting. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna change this completely. We're gonna make them like all maples, red maples. So we're just gonna hue shift it to red. We're going to make it really bright. Now, I don't know if this is going to look good or terrible, but we're having fun. Really bright. Oh yeah, look good. And then we're going to saturate the crap out of it. Yeah, there you go. Now that looks pretty cool, right? So check this out. So here's how to visualize. I don't know. I actually kind of like it. Do you like it? I like it. Let me know if you like it. Ooh, that's kind of nice. If you like it, hit the like button, but also comment that you like it. <laughs> All right, let's look at the before and after. So before, after, before, after. Now that is impressive. This is also usable in the masks. So if you go up here to masks, right? Let's say we wanna put some green back in this. So we're gonna, let's, we're gonna make this really easy. We're just gonna do a brush, okay? We're just gonna put a brush here, okay? And then we're gonna scroll down to point color, okay? And we're gonna click this here and we're gonna go to visualize range, see what we're working with good. We don't want any of that. So we're going to take out the brightness of the luminance here all the way. Good. That way we have the dark. Let's take out some of the saturation range and hue range right about there. Good. And then we're going to change this to green, beautiful, and darken it up. Nice. Okay, good. And here we go. Take off the visualized range. That looks garbage. Okay, so let's adjust this a little bit more. We just want a little bit of green in there. Okay, that looks a little bit better. All right, fine. Let's see what before, after. It just adds a little tinge of green, but you see how 
really specific you can get with this feature. And that's a walkthrough of this amazing, amazing new feature that Lightroom just came out with. You can use it on landscapes, portraits, pretty much any photo that has color. Amazing. <laughs> and uh, well, that's that wraps up the point color feature. So hit the like button because this feature is amazing. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll put some goodies in the description for you to check out. But uh, right now, YouTube recommends you go watch this video. If you don't know how to use the color range feature, the color range mask, go check out this video. Trust me, you're going to love it. And if you want to subscribe, it's quick to hit that button. I'll see you next week.